Let's begin. Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Buddy, back with the Buddy Entertainment channel. And I'm sorry I missed a lot of uploads last week. I've just been really busy. I'm going to try once again to get back onto a regular upload schedule. But I don't know how well that's going to work. I'm going to try doing bulk video recordings uh, today. Uh, hopefully, going forward, I can do that. Do all the videos in one go and then just edit them throughout the week. We'll see how that works, but without any further ado, let's jump in. Today, we are doing an Iron Man quiz. This one is on Fantrivia.com. There was nothing on Magic Quiz I could find, so we're doing probably the it, the next series all on Fantrivia.com. We'll just see how it goes, and we'll see how well we do. So this one, Iron Man 2008, it's a 10-question trivia quiz created by Kipster0402, so... If you're watching this, props to you, man. I enjoy the quiz, or I hope I enjoy the quiz. We'll see how well I know Iron Man from 2008. Can you rem remember this fantastic movie from 2008? Find out now. Average score is a 7 out of 10. That's a 70%. That's not bad, but it's not good either. So it's been played 1,779 times as of May 25th which is the day of recording. This is going up on the 26th. So we will see if we can beat a 7 out of 10. That's going to be my personal goal. Beat the average. So we just got to work. Hopefully the, we can beat that. The difficulty is also average, so we'll see. All right, so I don't need to worry about that. All right, first off, who is the, who, uh, the director? Who is the actor behind Iron Man? Robert Downey Jr. Not senior, Robert Downey Jr. All right, Steve Carell from The Office. If you don't know who these guys are, Steve Carell from The Office, Brad Pitt. I honestly cannot pinpoint a movie he's from aside from the cameo in Deadpool because he's in so much stuff. And then Robert Downey Sr. is just Robert Downey Jr.'s father. He was, I think, he was a director back when Robert was a, a child. Um, I think he's the one who got Robert Downey Jr. into like drugs. That's just speculation, though. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just not going to touch on that. Um, number two, what type of technology keeps the shrapnel from entering Tony's heart and powers Iron Man? Fluorescent technology, arc reactor technology, false immune technology, or nuclear technology? Well, if you're going technical here, it's a magnet powered by an arc reactor but because we're just going just broad here it's arc reactor technology uh i haven't heard of fluorescent or false immune technology in like marvel uh nuclear is just generic nuclear power and i don't know how safe that is to have a nuclear power plant embedded inside of your chest i also don't know how, how safe an arc reactor would be in your chest nor how he closed that hole in his chest from the arc reactor when he got it removed in Iron Man 3, but I kind of don't really care. Uh, number three, how does Tony escape the desert? He uses the Iron Man suit to fly home. James Rhodes locates him with helicopters. He heroically walks home from the desert. Obadiah Stane locates him with helicopters. It was... G it was Rhodey was in the helicopter. I know that one for a fact. Because then he starts bantering with Rhodey about the fun V in the desert. Uh, the suit gets him like 100 feet from, like 100 yards from the, uh, from the camp or so. Before it like busts apart and he just falls to the ground. Um, and he doesn't walk home from the desert. It was helicopters. So I'm, I think it was Rhodey. That's what I'm going to pick. I I won't know till the quiz is over, though. Um, but hopefully. Number four. Pepper for Forks. It, pepper Forks. Pepper Pa. Oh, wait. No, Pepper Forks is Tony Stark's assistant. I don't know if they intentionally got her name wrong. But it's Pots. Oh, wait. No, because it could be an honest mistake. Like, they could have, like, genuinely thought 
Like, it's a kitchen utensil, forks, them, oh, no. Hang on, hang on. Pepper pots. Pepper, okay, just pepper. Pepper, pepper. Where's pepper? Oh, 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 I'm going to choose false because it's pepper pots, not pepper forks. Uh, number five. Oh, I really, oh, if that's the one question that trips me up. Because you see, that's the type of question you expect because, like, it's pepper forks. People would see pepper and think true because pepper, but they wouldn't read the last name. And that's what tripped me up because I thought it was a spelling error, but no, it's just not pots. It's forks. Oh, that's so tricky. That's so slippery. Oh, okay. Number five. What is the name of Tony's computerized help system? Marvis, Yarvis, Darvis, and Jarvis. It's, it's, it's easy. It's Jarvis. I, I literally, I, I named my Echo Dot Jarvis. Although it, it doesn't have, you know, the Jarvis. It, it's not Jarvis, but I named it Jarvis because it's fun and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's 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 not Jarvis. It's like a pirate's version of Jarvis. It's it's no. <laughs> Number six. Where had the metal used on the newest Iron Man suit, red and gold, been used before? On a missile, on a satellite, on a helicopter blade, on a submarine. Gold. Where had the metal used? On the newest suit, Iron Man suit, the red and the gold. Oh, oh no! Oh, you, you would, you would do this, wouldn't you? Oh no! Oh. I should have watched the movie before this. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, um, um, satellite, satellite, because, um, the red and gold suit was built after the silver suit, and he was having trouble with icing on re-entry after, you know, f like, getting up high. I'm thinking, satellite, I'm gonna go with satellite, uh, because, you know, that would have, you know, fixed the icing problem, uh, with the suit, uh, which is how he defeats Obadiah Stane in the final act, spoilers for a, l oh, freaking 12 year old movie um, <laughs> I think it was a satellite though uh, number 7 where does Tony hide when the Air Force fighter jets are looking to target him where does he he belly so just 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 to show that I know what we're talking about the the, the answers that they give are the tail of one of the planes on the belly of one of the planes on the top of one of the planes, or he doesn't hide. He hides. So the plane's flying. This is the plane. He's this is, this is the plane. He's clung right here, and he's only spotted when one of the planes goes up to make a turn because he's then unexposed. He. Oh, I remember this because I remember the scene. I'm like think of the scene in my head. He's flying. Rody calls him. He picks up the phone. Rody asks what he's doing. He's driving with the top down. Uh, Rody prods some more. He says he's running through the jogging through the canyon. Canyon. Rody asks why. Uh, like he just said he was driving. He's like I'm driving to the canyon where I'm going to jog. He had hit on the belly of the plane. He, I I watched this recent enough, but I didn't watch it like yesterday. So I'm just glad I remembered that. Uh, number eight. What does Pepper buy with Tony's money for her birthday? No. Oh. Was it a bag? I think it was a handbag. I can see. I can see the scene playing out in my head. He, Tony, like says he likes the whatever thing. I think it was a bag. She says thanks. It was my birthday present from you. And he's like, I have good taste. Oh, you, you would, you would. Oh, I'm gonna go with handbag because that's that's the the thing that immediately springs to mind. Oh, number nine. For the cover story, who is said to be in the Iron Man suit? A bodyguard. I think it was a bodyguard. Yeah. 
Well, because people would know that it wasn't James Rhodes. Um, I'm going to go with a bodyguard. Because that's what it is in the comics. And I think they were trying to sort of allude to that in the movie. But not, you know, because in, in the actuality it was Tony. And he came out and said it just to swell to swell, 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 satiate his ego. And I think it was it said it was a bodyguard. Uh, number 10, which actor portrays C- Colonel James Rhodes in Iron Man? Oh, oh, this is a burn. Oh, okay. So it was Terrence Howard. Uh, none of, it wasn't any of these other uh, just guys. Well, Samuel, yeah, they're pretty well-known actors. Uh, but it was Terrence Howard. And then there, I think there were some disputes about money in the second one, uh, which is why they got him out and brought in Don Cheadle, which honestly, going forward, I think fit the role better than Terrence Howard, because Terrence Howard was more of a cool gangster type of guy, uh, and then uh, J- then um, Don Cheadle is, at least that's just my, my, my thought. I think Don Cheadle is more of that humble guy who tries to be like over the top and exuberant when he he gets the chance to, so like the Avenger, Avenger of the Joltron, um, but he's not there yet. Um, I think that's what I get out of him. So I think Don Cheadle is the better cast, but originally it was Terrence Howard. So let's, let's submit my answers, and we'll see what I get. Oh, did I? W- okay, okay. Is it going to give me my score? Okay. I got question one right. That's good. Got question two right. Okay. I'm not gonna look at the next question yet. I got question three right. Alright. Oh, that was one that I was sort of on the fence about. I got question Pepper Potts is in fact Tony's assistant. She's portrayed by Gwyneth Paltrow as a spicy but shy woman with a soft spot for Tony. Which okay, okay. Yeah, Pepper Forks is not Tony's assistant. I got that. That was a tricky one. That was a tricky I got Jarvis. Okay, I got on a satellite. That's another tricky one that I thought I was gonna gonna lose. Thirty four percent of players. Hang on. Okay, seventy five percent, sixty percent, ninety one, ninety. Okay, satellite on the belly of the plane, eighty one percent. How did only eighty one percent? Because that's like one of the more iconic scenes. No, it was a dress. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I thought so much. It was, I thought it was a handbag. Oh, oh, the majority got this correct. Oh, that's rough, man. That's rough. Bodyguard and then Terrence Howard's. I got nine out of ten. I got a hundred and thirty-five points. That's, oh, that hurts. Okay, I'm going to sign up because I'm going to be doing a lot of the, these sort of things. Anyways, dudes, that's going to be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Go into the comments and tell me after I finish Phase 1 of the MCU, what other quizzes do you want me to do? I'm going to take a break between Phase 1 and Phase 2 and do some other quizzes. Maybe do some Henry Stickman, some indie games, stuff like that. And, um... Tomorrow, or the day that this comes out, really, the 26th, Minecraft Dungeons releases. If I can, I'm going to link my Twitch. I'm going to be live streaming Minecraft, uh, if if possible. I'm going to be streaming Minecraft Dungeons um, for you guys to watch. And then I'm probably going to be uploading them on the channel after the fact. Uh, But yeah, go ahead. Please join me when, you know, I start streaming, which will probably be Wednesday, which would be tomorrow for you in two days uh, from now for me right in the moment um, just hang out watch the stream uh, have fun uh, you can comment talk to me we can discuss Minecraft Dungeon we can discuss Minecraft that is if I can you know if my computer can handle it which I'm working on I am working on that I went to Best Buy just the other day looked at a new laptop I think within the next two weeks I will have that laptop here all set up you know, on, on rent, of course, because I'm, I'm, I'm a broke boy. I'm a broke high school student. 
uh, but then we can actually stream high quality Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons. I hope I can do that soon. Uh, but again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.